It's now time to take a look at your Business headlines. Well, with that, we're going to bring in former NASDAQ and business reporter Krisha Lenzo, as well as author, women and wealth expert Carrie Carbonero. Good morning, ladies. Apparently, we all got the memo. We're all wearing <laughs> pink thread. Uh, Barbie well, pink. It is. Let's jump into those markets. So they finished the day mixed this morning. Futures are up ahead of the opening bell. Okay, so let's start with the wheat prices. They are just soaring right now. Obviously, as Russia continues to attack Ukrainian ports, it's all leading to a growing concern over the global food supply. Kirsch, I'm going to start with you on this one. I mean, how concerned are you about this? I am very concerned because for the third straight day, wheat prices have increased. And this has been consistently a problem because Russia is essentially using this uh, to combat sanctions that we have against them um, when it comes to the war in Ukraine. And basically, uh, they're taking every single uh, military vessel that comes across and they're treating it as if it's a a war uh, vessel and they're cutting off the wheat supply. And as a result, um, many countries and uh, nations that rely on Russia for wheat are struggling, especially those in in the Mideast and uh, in Africa. Essentially for them, Russia is now going to control about 20 percent of that wheat. Um, Here in the United States, wheat futures, um, which are based in Chicago, we we look at those numbers coming out of there. They've been up about uh, 11 percent since July 17th. So this is really um, something we should all be concerned about because, again, it is Russia pushing back on the United States, on the world, quite frankly, and saying that they are going to uh, really step in here and take control of the food supply. Yeah, we are definitely going to be keeping an eye on this one. Um, let's talk a little sports. So NFL owners voted unanimously to approve the sale of the Washington Commanders yesterday of the NFL. The new ownership group, which is actually led by Philadelphia 76ers and New Jersey Devils of the NHL, their owner, Josh Harris, are reportedly paying around $6 billion for that NFL franchise. I mean, the sale is coming the same day the league announced that Dan Snyder, who currently owns the Commanders, is actually going to face a $60 million dollar fine for workplace misconduct under his ownership. I mean, Carrie, what's going on here? So we've got good news and bad news. The good news is we've got a new owner and the new owner's got, you know, green lighted right in fantastic owner. Also, Magic Johnson is part of the ownership team, legendary. Um, and they are really going to do great things with the NFL because they've got experience in sports and marketing and business. So that's great. Now, at the same time, I think the punishment fits the crime for Dan Snyder. Interestingly enough, he owned our country club, was an ex-owner of our country club that we're members of down here in Florida. And so what happened was the SEC came in and looked at his books and said, hey, there's a lot of financial impropriety going on here. We are missing money to the tune of at least $11 million dollars. There are sexual harassment claims that have been um, verified. And so I think a $60 million fine is justice. My goodness. Yeah, we're definitely, again, another story we are going to be keeping an eye on. And ladies, today is the day everyone has been waiting for. You've got Oppenheimer versus Barbie, the two biggest films of the year. They've officially arrived. Now, Oppenheimer's critical response, blown away Barbie so far. But the later is actually expected to out-earn Oppenheimer, $110 million to $50 million. Guys, I'm going to break your hearts. I'm actually, I already have my tickets to see Oppenheimer today. Huge Killian Murphy fan. I'm going to choose that one over Barbie. Um, Krisha, are you doing a double feature? How are you feeling about this? So we're all wearing our Barbie pink today. I have to go with Barbie. Um, I need a, a pick-me-up, but I think it's really telling the fact that both of these movies are coming out on the same day. Uh, a lot, you know, Hollywood has really been a bright spot this past week in terms of the attention there with, with the strikes and now with both of these movies coming out. Um, talking about, I would say Barbie is the ultimate consumer movie. Um, and then we have uh, you know, basically Oppenheimer, it, it talks all about war. And um, as you said, it, it's really a riveting film. So totally uh, two disparate yes. films at the yes. same exact time, but it'll speak volumes about yes. the American public, what they what their mindset is at this point. <laughs> Absolutely. Carrie. Well, and also Bar- Barbie's only two hours and Oppenheimer's three. They're good so, point. Mary, I'm in for a long just, afternoon yeah, today. going to go for Barbie. <laughs> All right, ladies, Chris Alenzo, Carrie Carbonari, you look gorgeous in your pink today. Thank you for joining <laughs> us this morning. Thanks. Alex. Thank you. Up next, a newly declassified document that alleges President Biden accepted